Shazam to each of you people. I was minding my own business, hanging out over there on the couch a few minutes ago, and this knucklehead, Jared. Say hi, Jared. Hi, Jared. He hollered at me and read an article to me, and uh, just just the first bit of it got, holy smokes, it got my attention. I said, how about we jump over on the table and do a quick video? So uh, thanks for being here. I think it's going to be a mess. I think, I think people are going to have opinions on this. Yeah, um, two words, solidarity and resist. Solidarity and resist. Buckle up on this one. Today's episode is brought to you by Wux. Uh, you've got a Wux, right? Which which kit do you have? Uh, my Mossberg 590 shotgun. Uh, got the the dress up, the glow up, if you will. Uh, it's sexy. Their their wood products at Wux are phenomenal. And it's all real wood. Real wood. Walnut. No composite. I've not seen yours. I saw a picture of it. So it's good. It's sexy. How did the fitment and in, the install go? Uh, mint. Uh, no issues at all. Um, there was nothing that needed to be sanded or filed. It just fit perfect. Got a coupon code for you. Can't tell you where to go, but I bet you can find it. It's Wooks. You people, thanks for a thumbs up. Appreciate all of y'all. All right, let's jump into it. Um, we're coming out of three years of lockdowns, three years of bull crap, lies, the media lied. They started up at the, at the beginning of this year, started up that whole monkey pox. The monkey pox is on its way. And now as we head into the election proper, because mm -hmm. it's about to get spicy out there, tell these folks what hit. Yeah, well, leading into this, if, if you do your homework, every presidential election, there seems to be some major sickness that comes out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this one strikes close to home because it's one of the towns, I, the town I used to live in, the town I left Massachusetts from. Uh, and this, I'll just read you the title in the first paragraph. And what's this on? Uh, this is on the New York Post of all places. New York Post. We love the New York okay. Post. It says, Northeastern towns issue voluntary lockdown to prevent the spread of potentially deadly mosquito-borne disease, Triple E. Is it three counties or three towns? Three towns. Three towns have, have issued... Uh, four towns, sorry. Four towns. Uh, four towns? Uh, four towns? Four towns have issued voluntary lockdowns based on a mosquito-borne illness. Now, mosquitoes are no joke. We know that. They're legit. Viruses are no joke. That's real. However... One case. One case. There is one case of a disease, and they're trying to lock down... They're asking liberals, and liberals will do whatever the government says to do. Are there liberals in Massachusetts? Oh, yeah, but, but the surprising part is is these four towns typically vote Republican. Really? So I am anticipating the folks in those towns to uh, flip the bird to the government. This to the government. And <laughs> the, the reason I wanted to do this video, and because I think they're going to try to fire this stuff up. Fauci is now sick, so he's back in the news, and that's kind of, uh, I mean, I don't wish evil on anybody. That's kind of hard to say. Do you wish evil on Hitler? Yeah. 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 I, I, you know, yeah. in theory, I don't wish evil or sickness on anybody. But Fauci getting a virus is, I'm going to just say it's ironic and right. leave it at that. But he's back in the news, and they're throwing out the word lockdown before an election. They are not going to play fair in this election. This election is literally about trying to save our country. You told me the other day, you're like, if we don't take back the White House, America will not look the same in four years. I think that's what this virus is really about. Yeah, yeah. So for those who are wondering, the four Massachusetts towns are Douglas, where I used to live, Oxford, Sutton, and Webster. That's where Lake Chagagagog, Main Chagagag, Chabonagungamog is. Uh, and all four towns touch each other. And uh, it's in the forest of Massachusetts, the Douglas State Forest, some marshy land. So there's a lot, there's a lot of mosquitoes there. Uh, but they, all four, have enacted a voluntary evening lockdown in an attempt to curb the spread of a potentially deadly mosquito-borne illness. The decision comes after the Massachusetts Department of Public Health confirmed the first case of eastern equinine encephalitis since 2020 in Worcester County. I like the way you say department. Department. It's a department. One case. I think your point of middle finger to the government is important. Uh, I think, I haven't titled this video yet, but I think it's going to be called Do Not Comply. And I know y'all know that, but I think it's a moment like this when you hear a rumbling in the forest or you hear a rumbling just over the hill, you hear a, maybe a harbinger of what's coming and say an omen yeah. and go, you know what, if it rumbles all the way to Tennessee, middle freaking finger to the government. I'm not, I'm not wearing a mask again. I'm done. No, they want you scared. They... COVID and what, what people just voluntarily gave up because the boogeyman kept showing up on TV every day. Uh, a lot of people, in my opinion, were trained 
to just give up and let the government tell us when it's safe. Nowhere in our Constitution and our founding documents and everything that the founders did did they ever promise the government would keep you safe. No, and they have no respons responsibility. We know that law enforcement at the state, the municipal, the county level, or the Fed level, they have no, because of the Supreme Court case against the county of Winnebago, they have no responsibility to keep us safe, right. and they don't care. Like, the only thing they care about is tax revenue coming in and locking us down and then increasing their own personal wealth. In a lot of ways, the original lockdowns, and I get it, like the lockdowns before, like the government really never locked anybody in their homes like they did in China. Uh, they physically, we you saw where they were bolting peoples into their homes in right. China. Here, it was more uh, fear and a lot of social, like real social pressure. I know people that got the vaccine just because they were tired of hearing from their mom or hearing from social media. So it wasn't forced, but we all, uh, we all complied. I know I've had viewers that go, I never complied. I had to fly on planes, and you had to get off the plane if you didn't wear a mask. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go to Thunder Ranch and train, so I wore a mask on the plane. You, you did too. I've worn masks with you. Yeah, I got very creative, uh, but it, the illusion of the mask was there. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, that's what they want. They want to be able to tell everybody in this country what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And unfortunately, there's a, it's not a huge uh, you know, segment of our society, but there is a segment of the society that likes that. They want that. And if you remember, for three, two, three, two of the years for, during COVID, they wanted people like you and me locked up and thrown away. They wanted to remove us from the population because we believed that uh, it's just the flu. We believed that we didn't need some, you know, experimental uh, shot to deal with stuff. So those are the same people that are pushing this. Pure blood, 2024, still a pure blood let me know what y'all say or what y'all think. Let us know down below. Leave a comment. Um, I want to. I want to go through these. And do you think that me and the ball-headed guy with a gray goatee, as Rolling Stone said, do you think that we're overreacting? Do you think it's oh my god, we saw the word lockdown, and so we better make a video and have us have a sponsor? Or do you think they really hate us and they want us locked in our house again? Because Jeff Bezos made a billion dollars in cash. Amazon, man, they thrived, and the mom-and-pop stores have still not recovered. They want this to happen again. Are we overreacting? I don't think so. The government sucks, and they're trying to be stronger and stronger and take over more of our, our daily lives. <laughs> the government sucks. Yep. I think that's great. Three words. Do not comply. Ever. This gun fits my hand better than this one does. Diabetes.